We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Houston Astros and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. So striding forward now, Gerald Hayden. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. Boy, and also right up among the leaders in home runs and RBIs. This guy's having an epic season, and he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled off. Hayden. A switch hitter that stands in at an even six feet tall. He was selected in the 15th round during the 2020 draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. top of the third set to get underway and that'll bring in the second baseman Isan Diaz even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one you can't get complacent and get lazy they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too hit on the ground toward the left he's got it and the throw on to first will take care of him so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield now to the plate, Kevin now Kramer. 0 for 1 Number with a run six. scored thus far. 0 and 2, here it comes. One down here, and they'll try to beat it out. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Astros leave one, but they're still in control, 7 to nothing. Stepping up now, Francisco Lindor. Now He'll swing it from the left side right here. Now the 2-1. And against the shift there as this is on the ground. Throw on to first. will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground. Digging in for his second at-bat, Gerald Hayden. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 58 on the year. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. On, Digging baby. in, Gerald Hayden. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Lifted in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Settle for Coming to the plate now, Up Gerald Hayden Bay. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter which side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties, the numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. This was just a nice win for these guys. They did most of their damage in that big second inning and did what they had to the rest of the way to secure this win. 12 to 3 is the way this one ends. The Strohs took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. 
Ross Davidson gets the win in relief his sixth of the season. Trevor Richards was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.